Good morning, everybody. Gypsy Trails here. Uh, today, well, actually, next two days, we are going on a uh, Bonds Zealand Hail Traverse. Yeah. It's our first backpacking together, backpacking trip, so we're pretty stoked. We're on Zealand Road right now. We are walking to the Hale Brook Trail. We parked at the very end at the Zealand Trailhead because that's the only place you can park overnight on Zealand Road. Here's the route we'll be taking. We left a car at Lincoln Woods South and we are starting north at the Hale Brook Trail. We will summit Mount Hale and lose elevation on the Lendahan Trail as we carry on to Zealand Hut. We'll take a break there and continue on to the Twin Way, and then we will head towards Mount Zealand. After summiting Zealand, we'll continue on to Mount Gio, just a short while away, and there it's about 0.6 to the Gio campsite. We'll be spending the night and then doing a sunrise onto West Pond. And then we'll be returning to the junction and continuing on the Bond Ridge Trail, summit Mount Bond, continue on to Bond Cliff. That will be our last summit. And then we will descend all the way down on the Bond Cliff Trail until we reach Lincoln Woods, which is about five miles of flat trail carry on and then find our second car and drive the other back to the car north. The original plan was to get a, uh, to camp at the Gio shelter, but it's looking like we may be a little bit late for that. It's, it's, it's just after nine right now. So we're starting a little bit later. And here we are folks. Hale Brook Trailhead. And from here, it's about two miles and about 2,200 feet of vertical until we get to the summit of Mount Hale. Point seven miles in past our first uh, water source. Uh, yeah, and this trail is the second we, second we started. Started going up, 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 and up. It is, uh, we're definitely feeling the extra weight uh, we have on us right now. It is not easy with a big backpack, and I have so much respect for through hikers. So. <laughs> and this is what we're talking about. So it's Karen. Do you have to climb to the top of it? <laughs> that there is the summit of Mount Hale. And there's a J. Right there. Oh. oh, it's actually not bad. It's pretty, pretty cleared out. Not really... Not really anything for a view, but it is relatively clear. Might have a bite to eat, but then otherwise, we will continue on to Zealand. So, leaving the summit of Mount Hale now, heading on the Lend a Hand Trail. And it's about four miles to go to get to Mount Zealand. 
It will be a very long four miles. <laughs> Here begins the long descent. Uh, yeah, all that elevation we gained coming up this way is going to be lost in between here and Zealand. Zealand, we're gonna have to gain all that elevation back again. So we're gonna be, uh, you know, going up and down a whole lot today. We're pretty stoked because uh, Mount Hale was number 39 for us. Yes. And Zealand will be number 40. I didn't get my summit kiss. Okay, here you go. There it is. <laughs> About a mile since we left Summit of Hale. Cleared up a little bit. And that right over there is Hale South Peak. So that's kind of cool. There's actually no uh, trail that goes to uh, South Peak. I don't even know if there's a bushwhack. But looks pretty, uh, looks like it would be pretty wooded anyways, so. What do you say, Caroline? We are just having a great time. Excited to get to the Zealand Hut and check that out. <laughs> Hi mom. Yeah. I'm safe. Oh, how about a joke? Does, does the show need a joke? Yeah, you want to tell a joke? You know why ducks have tail feathers? Why is that? To cover up their butt quack. <laughs> <laughs> there, you heard it here. Yeah, about a, about a mile and a half to get to Zealand, but we are taking a little detour. We're going to check out Zealand Hut. We heard they have pretty good desserts. <laughs> so. That's uh, Caroline wants some chocolate cake. So, oh, came right out of nowhere, right through the trees. stay yeah so that was pretty good you know it was so tasty well we just finished up at the Zealand hut and we were at the junction now and we are going on to the twin way we're just gonna cross over here it's about a mile and a half to Zealand and we will be there so we'll update you soon
we're right at nine miles and summiting Mount Zealand right now. There she blows. The tree side. <laughs> marks number 40. Woo! For the gypsies. That's a big mark for us. It didn't come easy either. It was a slog from hell, but it was a beautiful day and all worth it. Oh, it's always worth it. Always. So, yep, yeah, it's not, not too... There's a kind of a... There's a kind of a bit of a view through there, but nothing crazy. Well, guess that's that. Have a snack and uh, keep on going. Our next stop is uh, Gio. Yeah, and then right. we'll set up camp. We are currently a little under. 10 miles in for the day, uh, about halfway to Gio from Zealand, so that's something. Um, yeah, probably like 0.4 of a mile to go, um, but yeah, we are really starting to feel the strain um, of these much heavier packs. Still holding out a hope that there will be an open spot at the Gio shelter, but we're not really, we're trying to not get our hopes up. So uh, we might be stealth camping, but we'll find out when we get there. Well, we just passed into the Alpine zone. Wow. It really, it was like, just like that. Snap of the fingers. Holy crap. Where'd all the trees go? <laughs> it's like a, a rock garden. That's amazing. That is a really good view. I can't believe this one doesn't count towards the list. Here is the true summit of Gio. Gorgeous views. I'm good. <laughs> so our day tomorrow is Mount Bond right there. Then just behind it is Bond Cliff. Now right over there is West Bond. We're actually gonna be trying to summit that later today once we drop our packs off at the campsite. So the Gio campsite is full, unfortunately. Uh, so we are headed towards the overflow site which we're not really exactly sure where it is so we're kind of just winging it so after much toil we found the campsite and it's like private while it's like hoaching here because it was a crappy spot that's like bumpy but it's not that bad yeah i mean you know it's it's pretty bumpy and rocky but it is like really private so we are actually pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, now we just got to figure out how to send a tent up on this. And uh, yeah, then we'll be good. Not sure if we're hitting up West Bond. We'll see how we feel after we eat Lots dinner. Of food.
here she is. First time in the field. So, ground's pretty unstable. But that's okay. We'll 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 climb in there and uh we'll make the best of it. <laughs> Hey guys, so we got everything set up. We had some some food. I had some pad thai. And Caroline had the lasagna. But uh yeah, we're uh we're we're pretty much dead, so we're probably not gonna get westbound tonight. So that's okay. It's we'll uh you know, it'll just be one more for the morning. That's okay. We're going to probably sign off for uh, for the night. And we'll catch you guys in the morning. Alright? Good morning, everyone. It is 5.21 in the morning. And uh, now we're on the West Bond Spur. Um, about to summit... West Bond, that'll be our first summit of the day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going a little slow today. I rolled my ankle pretty bad yesterday, coming back up from the Gio uh, shelter. So I'm feeling that. I could walk on it, but it, I'm just going a little slow. So, Luckily, we already did almost all the elevation um, we need to do yesterday, so that's good. But um, yeah, I'll uh, update you guys when I get to West Bond. It is 5.35 in the morning, and we are on the summit of West Bond. We did it! Woo! It is incredible. It's so beautiful. Yeah, right as the sun's coming over over the ridge. Here it is. Number 41 for us. Wow. First time being uh, summiting during sunrise, so it feels great. We're gonna make some coffee, make some oatmeal or something, and uh, just enjoy this beautiful view. that way it's about uh, half a mile to Mount Bond so just a bit of an, a bit, bit of an incline and uh, we'll see you guys up there all right guys we just made it to the summit of Mount Bond and we are just walking up this little stone pathway it wasn't too far from West Bond to the main bond it didn't feel like too much of a climb so we are just absolutely thrilled to be here got the summit to ourselves number 42 Woo! Yeah! and check it out on and the ridge on cliff that's where we're headed we are headed to bond cliff
and now we are starting our final elevation for the day heading up uh, Bond Cliff now that's where we just were Mount Bond let's get this summit And here we have it, the summit of Bond Cliff, our final summit in our traverse, and what an incredible view that is. Wow. Don't want to lose your footing up here. There's West Bond and Mount Bond, where we came from. This is probably the best way to finish our traverse. It's been a magical day and thanks so much for coming along with us. We can't wait to share the rest of the hike with you. Please subscribe if you like our content. And uh, we hope you guys get out to the bonds soon as well. It's just a stunning day and we're feeling so, so blessed and thankful. We got some really, really great panoramic views of the entire Pemi here. We got South Twin Mountain. And then over here we have Franconia, uh, Lafayette, and Lincoln. Across the ridge we have Mount Liberty and then Mount Flume. And over here, we have uh, Hancock and Mount Kerrigan. Yeah, we have uh, an awesome view of the entire Pemigewasset, which is just incredible. So we're leaving the summit of Bond Cliff. It's a little bittersweet because that is the last one of the day. But wow. Oh, it was amazing. Anyways, we have about eight and a half miles to go to get to the Lincoln Woods Trailhead. And it's going to be... Mostly a lot, of, a lot of downhill and then pretty much the last like half of it is, is probably just going to be pretty flat. Oh, can't wait to get back. Lie down in a nice bed.
here we go. This is the Lincoln Woods Trail. And we will be following this for the next uh, 4.7 miles or so. And just like in our Owl's Head video, it will be long and flat. So, not going to be many updates till we get to the end. Hoping that this flat ground will be better to us. All right, and we're finally made it to the bridge. Oh God, what a what a long two days. Um, total mileage was 23 and a half miles for both days. Um, about the same, like 12 about 12 miles a day. For some reason, the second we hit flat ground, our bodies just did not want to do it no more. So now all we gotta do is hope that the car is still there. So fingers crossed. But uh, yeah, we hope you guys really liked and enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and happy trails. Happy trails.